Alternative medicine is... called and told her she had to return to Portland right away. Oh, that's too bad. What are we going to do? Get along fine without her, just like we did before. But Judy... Jody is going to be fine. Last night she was really afraid, and I let her sleep in our bed. No! Catherine said it was okay. Yeah, I'd expect that. Where is she now? Is she gone? No, she's upstairs packing. All right, I'm going to go up. I'm going to have a final few words with her. Why don't you go do some knitting, and I'll be right down. Still in uniform, I see. I'm leaving it on for my final session with Allison. No more sessions. I want you to leave this house like you're supposed to. Oh, I'm leaving. But not until my job's done. Oh, it's done. It's over. It's bye-bye time. I'm not leaving Allison in this half-catatonic childlike state. I'm not going to leave her with a madman and just forget about her. It's time for her to face the truth. You stay away from her. I had planned on doing it my way, slowly and carefully. But you ruined that. Somehow I knew you would. Now you force me to do it shockingly and abruptly. What are you talking about? She has to be made to recall that when you crashed the car, Jody's head smashed into the windshield and she died instantly. There's no more time to pretend, Michael. No! Yes. You've destroyed everything. And now it's time to kill the doll. Kill the doll? What are you talking about? Allison's transformed Jody into the doll. She even slept with it last night. Don't do this. It won't work. Yes, it will. Go and look. What? Jody's room. Go on. It's good, isn't it? I found that sledgehammer red paint in the basement. It's quite realistic, don't you think? Now it's time for me to do what I was sent here to do. Allison? Don't. It's too much for her. 
You should have thought about that before you interfered with my work. Allison! No! Are you calling me, Catherine? I have something I want to show you. Do you want me to come up? Wait there, I'll be right down. I won't let you do this. Then you do it. You show her what you did. No, please! You're so afraid of the truth. Allison, it's time to face the truth. Leave her alone! This is what really happened that night in the car. You've been living with a lie too long and Michael has... do this! <laughs> Look how she sleeps, so peacefully. Remember when she was a little baby? We used to sit by her crib, watch her breathe. Her little eyelids flutter. Yeah. joy and need we have walked hand in hand now we are both resting from our travels the still countryside below us around us the quiet valleys incline already the air grows dark two larks fly above us into the dreaming mist come here and let them soar alone Soon it is time for sleep. We must not stray from this solitude. Oh, tranquil, spacious peace, so profound in the twilight. How tired we are of wandering. Is this, perchance, 